Oh. But all right, that's it. That's the one that does it. I've had it with that song and dance. A man must this and a woman must that. Two relationships don't stand a chance. I'm sorry to shout, but I'm up to here with all that crap about man and wife. For I, thank God, am a scientist. And I know the real facts of life. Like a soul possessed, I have studied and assessed the creatures of this earth. And from moose to eel, what my studies most reveal is the male's inflated worth. For in most of the animal kingdom, the ladies only seldom need men. Their dealings are straight, they meet them to mate, and never see them again. The bear, the tiger, the hamster, and the mole have females who live fruitful lives outside of male control. For one mindless spasm, they allow the male his role. That's marriage for the tiger, bear, and hamster. Now the mole who's blind will never be confined to one male she's merely felt. Once his seed is sown, she has her babes alone in the hole where the male mole dwelt. And as for the boa constrictor, she needs no more than one male response. For when it appears, she stores in her ears to use whenever she wants. The ray, the rhino, the penguin. show what we can learn. They point the way, the rhino, ray, and penguin. In a field or brook, almost anywhere you look, are mothers on their own. In the deep, on high, mothers kiss their mates goodbye and raise their young alone. Now I make no brief for the mantis who decapitates her mate during sex. But I do like the auk who makes with a squawk and then throws rocks at her ex. Ha! The bitch! Woo! The vixen, the queen bee, and the shrew. What men have done to those fine words we never can undo. They're strong working mothers, yes. They're just like me and you. Let's redefine the shrew, the bitch, and vixen. to wait for those sly little winks from some man who envies the sex life of minks and not have to guess if he's one of the finks or whether he drinks or whether he stinks or what he thinks of me well of course if fate should put upon my plate that quintessential male I would stick like glue, yes, I would be as true as any beaver, owl, or whale. Till then, I'll envy the oyster, who lives a happy life on the shelf. When she wants a term, she releases some sperm and fertilizes herself. The hare, the condor, the guppy, and the bream, they're all out there doing what you Come march toward the future on my scientific team. For now that you've seen and can compare why anyone with the way.